hello everyone so in this video i'll be walking you guys through on how to do this particular toggle animation in figma so as you know toggle animation is a really interactive way to to, to show your uh, your buttons that can be usually be used as a really attractive way to improvise your ui ux designing projects so as you can see here this is a toggle animation uh, uh yeah i just made it inside figma here so all you do just need to click on here and it and it just opens like goes to the uh right hand side like as if it's like real open but it's like you just toggle the button so this is really good looking and at the same time it's really attractive so i would really would like to teach you guys on how our i was able to do something like this and you can do it in your project as well so let's go to Figma and let's open a new project. And there you go, guys. This is a real, uh, just an empty blank project which I've just created in Figma. I just like made a new file just open in Figma just now. And all you have to do is just need to go to this particular blank page and let's get started. So all I have to do is to just grab a bunch of shapes. So the first shape that I would like to go take here it's just a rectangle shaped tool and I'll be just making a simple this particular rectangle like this and I have to make sure this particular rectangle has to have a corner of max max rounded corners so how to say I'll have to go put 100 but as you can see 100 is still not enough here and and it's because we need to make it a bit more smaller or you can you can make it either smaller like this and becomes a rounded perfectly rounded corners or you can just like make it like this first and then you can just increase the rounded radius a corner radius up to as as high as 500 will do and either either ways will be best okay so in this case let's get let's go to the next let's grab our next uh, shape here which is a circle so, so in this case we're gonna have an ellipse here i'll be having an ellipse i'll be making an ellipse shape like this as as long as it actually uh, make it inside you are able to fit inside this particular rectangular shape and let's make this uh, lips tool to become white yeah we are able to to show what's going on and as you can see here this rectangular shape tool is actually filling the entire height of this uh, rectangle at the back i've just mentioned here so i need to make this particular uh, ellipse tool to be to be lightly lesser than the background and there you go and yeah that's it for now and you'd make sure it's placed at the center like this okay so as you can see here this particular shape tool you are able to fill this circle and we also need to make sure this particular rectangle will be able to fill two of this size so that we are able to make it uh, a good looking rectangle and the output will become really good so as you can see here i'm going to make another circle and i just made another circle here just duplicated the first one as you can see here the rectangle is not uh, it's not it's not how to say enough enough of width to fill two spaces of circles which which exactly what i want i mean i we should not be doing so i'll have to make this width of this uh, rectangular shape to be a bit more yeah a bit more than how it looks like currently so what i'll be doing here is that yeah this is the one this is the exact uh, height that we exact width that we should be making and there you go we have just made a simple design which like kind of look like toggle and let's give more uh detail for this for example let's make it like we are adding some uh shadow for example in this case let's go to effects and as you can see here we can, you can click on this here and then we can actually make this the y-axis to become zero and we can also increase the blurriness up to max not up to max but yeah we can actually give more than this okay so and there you go this is the first step which is to create two of this and let's make this to become one group by having selecting both of them and also making them as a group selection okay i just made them into a group okay i just made them into a group so i need to make another copy of this so just need to make duplicate copy and paste this and i'll be just having it right here at the bottom right here so in this case, the next, the second one will be the after aftermath one one I, once I clicked on this particular uh, toggle button. So it should be this button should be on my right hand side like this. And also I need to make sure the background color to be changed to green. 
okay something like this and let's give a color that that suits the toggle color that usually you will find in your phones and iphone yeah you usually find in your, in your iphone nowadays so let's give something like this and there you go this is just this is just enough okay now what we're gonna do is that we have already made two groups of the the how will the toggle should look like at first and how should the toggle will be look like after when once we have clicked or just typed clicked on one of these buttons here so let's make the next step which is to make both of this as a component so by making both of the component we are able to go for the next step is to make both of this into a variant so as you can see here once you made both of these components like selecting on uh, by yeah you'll be having that option that says select and make it make it as a component now when you select both of these components you will have another button called variant combine as variants right here so this only happens when you are able to make both of this into a component separate components like this as you can see here this is group one group two so next thing just click on variants combine variants like this and there you go so what you're gonna do next here we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna combine we're gonna like uh like how do you say uh attach the uh like what happens like what should this from this to here just gonna make a connection between this and to this like what happens when i click on this it should become like this so i need to go to prototype here and as you can see here we can actually click on this uh first group like this and you can actually drag this and just uh, i mean point it point it to your group too like this and that's it and of course you to make sure once on click change to property one to pro property group two here and you need to make sure you make it as a smart animate like this okay okay now you, now you can let the rest to be uh, default you can change it if you would like to have a different uh, preference but yeah, i'm just going to teach i'm just going to walk you through the default version so the next thing is that we need to make sure we are able to see what's going on from here to here so how are we able to make it to be visible when we click on uh, this button to this button is to of course we need to click on the pro i mean this particular uh, pre present tool but as you can see here when i click on present it says a prototype needs at least one frame so that's what we need to, we need to do we're going to create a new frame like this simple frame okay so I mean, yeah it's going to make it even more bigger because the button is kind of big though so okay so i'm just going to make it something like this this is the frame and inside this frame i like to take either one of this so but you can but then you can just go to assets and you can just take this component one drag it paste it like this okay and there you go you are having this particular uh, component directly coming from this component one here so just make it place at the center here and then we are done we are good to go let's go and hit this particular present button and now you will be redirected to the figma present uh, presentation screen where you'll be seeing what you have did in here so in this case what you can what we can see here is that we will be able to see the uh, this particular frame one so let's go to layer layers and as you can see here we have frame one. Oh, okay we need to make sure that we have able to see the screen here field screen yeah it should be field screen because we have already zoomed too much already not an actual size yeah we should be fit field screen okay so as you can see here this is the uh, your presentation you i mean present figma's presentation where you'll be able to do some animation when what happens when you click and you can actually do some interactions so i'm going to click on this toggle button here and there you go that's how it would look look like and when i need to click here it does not happen anything because we have not set once we click when, what, from this particular component here so we need to do that also so we need to go to prototype here make sure your prototype is selected select this and make this uh dragger and just point it into your first one here and make sure it should also smart animate as well and let's go to here and let's click on this and there you go you have yourself a toggle button which happens to be really good at transitioning from from a grade grayed out button to green button in a really smooth and seamless animation so that's it for me thank you guys for watching till the end and let's meet in another episode of figma tutorials where i'll be walking you guys through more of this such cool 
Figma Design. So until then, peace.